I'm super excited. I'm here downtown Burlington where behind me they're setting up the first Burlington holiday market. It's a European style market with more than 40 vendors over this weekend and they're going to have crafts and food and a whole bunch of locally made items for those holiday shoppers. So there was a vision between the BIA downtown here, Brian Dean, Rory Nissan, and then a few of us got together and decided to try to create a European style market to get boots on the ground downtown shopping, to get people downtown that might not have been here for a year and a half because of COVID, and to encourage the shop local that we're hearing a lot about, and to bring some new vendors out that might not have normally been able to be able to buy their wares downtown. Amazing. And tell me about some of the folks that are coming out to sell this evening. Well, we've got, you see, Back by Bees is, is a popular one here. We've got a brand new underwear store down the road that just started downtown a few months ago. We have Joseph Tassoni, a local designer, that'll be out here selling Christmas trees. The European Christmas market seems incredibly popular these days. Is there a particular reason, you think? Um, I think people want to be outside. We feel a little bit safer outside right now. And um, it lends itself to a larger crowd. So if there was a bump in counts, we probably could have kept going, you know. And we want to build on this, so we're a little small this year. We haven't quite got the European beer garden down pat yet, but we'll be shooting for that as the market expands over the next few years. And we circle back with council with a report to show them what we've done with this and then get that green light to keep moving the next few years and increase our funding and donor base so that we can make this a big event, a signature event. So right now our competition is Toronto and Kitchener, so we fit a nice triangle. And I think they could use the competition because it's getting pretty busy in Toronto. So. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I'd like to thank Koja Co for being involved in our community again and stepping up and supporting us as one of our lead sponsors. I'd also like to thank the Burlington Chamber of Commerce for facilitating a grant that was that was that helped us get this going, that went through the Ontario Chamber for the support that we could be able to work with Burlington Green and then downtown BIA and having some extra money to do so. So that meant a lot to us and really helped us get over the hump. So the holiday market will open today at 4 and close at 9 and then be open on Friday and Saturday from 11 till 9 and Sunday from 11 until 7. There will be live music throughout the weekend, throughout the market, and then on Sunday closing it out will be Susie McNeil at 6 p.m. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.